Okay, it's Glenn here and in this video we're going to have a look at the Height Connect app and how you can turn on your notifications to get alerted when your cameras uh, trigger events. Uh, you need to have obviously set up your cameras to notify Surveillance Centre and providing you've done that and follow these steps, these notifications will pop through to your mobile devices. So the first step is to open up the Height Connect app and go to your cameras. Um, we've got multiple ones here, but in this case, we're gonna work with our demo room. I'm going to click on the little cog button, which is to the top right. And this is where I see the status of the notifications. Now this applies to all cameras um, on this particular NVR. If you've got your setup where the cameras are individually um, assigned to your app, you're gonna to have to do this for each and every camera. All right, so in my case, it's fairly simple. I've got multiple cameras and one NVR. Um, I can see here that under notifications that it's set to enable. If I wanted to change that, um, I simply click into here and disable it by clicking the little slider across to the left. It'll ask for confirmation. Um, so if I hit disable now, I will no longer receive any notifications. Okay, in my case, I do want those on, so I'm gonna turn them on. All right, so with that enabled, um, the other option that you've got is to choose when you're going to have the notifications come through. So in my case, um, we have a notification schedule. These cameras in my case are at the office, and so I do not wanna be notified as people are moving around throughout the day. So I only wanna be notified outside of office hours. So when we look here on this page at the bottom and we see notification schedule, you'll see that mine is enabled. I'm gonna click in there to have a look at what settings have been enabled as far as the times. So we can see here between the, on the first uh, time schedule, um, we've got it set up from 6 p.m. to just before midnight. Um, and then on the next one, we've got midnight till 8 a.m and then the next one we've got Saturday and Sunday, uh, basically 24 hours. So if anyone sets off any of those cameras in those times, it's going to notify me. Um, to change those, I simply click into an existing one and I can choose which days I want. Um, in my case, I'm leaving it like that, Monday to Friday, uh, but I can also choose what times I want. So if I want to adjust it and make it a little bit earlier, I can easily do it here, okay, and hit okay. Um, I can delete the schedule altogether. And when I'm finished, the top right hand corner is the save button. That will make a save to any of the changes that I've made. Okay, so it is fairly straightforward. You can set up more if you want. I don't know if there's a limit to these. You just literally click into the plus, add a schedule. Choose, for example, Sunday here. Okay, so we just wanna be notified on Sunday uh, between 1 a.m. and say, you know, 8 a.m. Um, now what it'll probably do here is it'll say you can't have an overlapping schedule. If that's already set to notify me in those times and I hit save, it will say the schedule time cannot be done because it's overlapping with the other one. Okay, so just make sure you don't overlap your time schedules and you'll have no issues. All right, so I'm not gonna save this one. I'm gonna come back out of there. So it just leaves those three in place now. Um, I think that's all fairly straightforward, guys. If you have any other issues, just give us a call in the office um, on 9313 1881, and we're always happy to help you. Thank you.